Okay, so we're going to show you the proper way to set the upper feed roller on a 3302. So this is the buckle control upper feed roller. This is your head stop adjustment. We're not going to do anything with that. So when this goes around, your grippers come down at about, this is like the 3 o'clock position on a clock, if you're looking straight at it this way. They come down, you'll see the upper feed roller. It's going to spin a little bit and come back up. So we want that to spin one and one eighth revolutions. So I'm just going to take a Sharpie. I'm just going to put a mark on it. And I'm going to just hold my finger, a little bit of pressure on it as I turn this around. Just, I'm just, so, it just doesn't, so it doesn't spin by itself because it moves pretty freely. So I'm just going to bring it down there it hit. It's going to go around. There's not even quite one revolution. So I'm going to go counterclockwise three or four clicks. I'm going to go back up again. I'm going to start at this top here where the grippers are about that position. I can see my line. You can see my line right there. I'm going to put it at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to bring it around. There it's hitting. There's one, not quite one revolution. I'm going to go a few more clicks counterclockwise. Gives you more dwell. We're setting the dwell. It's not a pressure. It's a dwell. How long does it stay down? So there's one revolution, about one and a sixteenth. I got to go a little bit more. I'm going about five or six clicks each time. So we'll do the same thing again. There's one, a little over one and an eighth. So I'll go back like two clicks. And that's it. That's how we're setting the upper feed roller dwell. 3302 Ryobi, same as the 3300, 3304.